What's up everybody, Brent here with Nuclear Motorsports. We are here for the Steel City Stampede at Lernerville Speedway. Um, it is our last race of the season. We're here with our Pro Stock. We're racing with the Penn Ohio Pro Stock Touring Series tonight. Um, this is their championship night. We are sitting sixth, I believe, in those standings. Uh, we didn't really hit all the big races like we planned on this year, so uh, pretty solid finish for us this year. I think we'll be sixth or seventh, depending on how the night goes. Um, tonight, we are running qualifying and then a heat race, and then tomorrow night, we will run a 25 or 30 lap, I don't, I'm not sure, 25 or 30 lap, uh, A-Main for the Dow Carnahan, uh, Kyle Stramaski, I believe is his last name, uh, Memorial. Uh, here at Lernerville. It's a big end of the year show. They're paying 3,500 bucks to win and 350 to start I believe. There's 25 cars in attendance. Um, I pulled a number. Say hi to Gary. We'll be racing against his boy in the 1k over there. Uh, anyways, we are lined up here. Uh, we pulled an 11 field so we will qualify all as one group tonight and then they will start, invert four of us into three heats. There are 25 cars here and uh, everyone will make the show. So 3,500 to win, 350 to start, uh, pretty good payout. The weather does look terrible this weekend. Tonight looks pretty good. Uh, tomorrow looks really, really bad. 99% chance of rain. So hopefully we will be able to get something in tomorrow. If not, the rain date is Sunday. Uh, we'll hope for the best and try to get some racing in this weekend to close the year out. So we will qualify, they will take They'll set the lineup. There's three heats tonight. They'll set, take the top four and invert the top four. And then after they invert them, uh, they'll take two to the dash. Two to the dash. Uh, and then everyone will make the show. So that's the format for tonight. I'm going to turn the duties over to Hunter now. We'll get ready for, we will get ready for qualifying now.
are going out now for the heat race. He's in the second heat, starting third. Um, I forget who the guys that are in his heat, doesn't matter, I guess. But again, thanks to Catella's family for helping us out. Yet again, we owe ya.
I guess I should probably update here. Um, we went out for a feature and we got about nine laps in and it started raining. Um, track became ice and they threw the green flag but no one was even really ready and again the track was ice so there was a bad wreck there at the end. Um, so then they pulled everybody off the track and they called it for the time being told us just to wait it out. So we came off, we waited it out for probably, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour. And they called us back onto the track to run it in. Um, and then to make a couple laps and see how it was going, how it felt. We went back out, ran the laps, um, and then just kept running caution laps um, because it started raining again. Uh, so they told us to pull off again. So I don't really know what we're doing now. Um, if they're gonna try to get it in or not. It's now six o'clock. Yeah, it's now six o'clock. So um, I'm not really sure where we're going from here, if they're gonna have us go out or not, but we'll update you here shortly. Well, as you can see, we are now here on day four of this vlog. Um, unfortunately, we're back here in the garage. Uh, and last night we ended up getting rained out. Um, they had us on a racetrack and I believe we got nine laps in. And got us back out on the racetrack and then the rain showed up for a third time. So that put an end to our fall fest. Uh, unfortunately, we did not have enough laps for it to be a complete show. So uh, we will be back in sometime in 24 to make up the rest of that show. So we don't really have an ending at all to this video, um, but that does end our 2024 season. Uh, I believe that that will put us tied for sixth in our uh, overall Penn Ohio weekly series points. So um, a pretty good year for us there and a uh, track championship for us at Lake Trobe Speedway to close out the year. Uh, even with, uh, I guess we only had four or five races there. Um, we ended up winning three, I believe three features there. So uh, we were the track champion there, which will be, is our first. So I guess that's kind of a cool little accomplishment to uh, have a track championship under our belt, even if it was kind of an abbreviated season with all the rainouts, um, and to run well with the touring series. So um, we're always thankful to run well when we have big classes or big groups in our class like we did uh, this weekend. But uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be, and we didn't get to finish finish it out. So um, we'll be back in the spring for the Dow Kyle um, Memorial. Um, hopefully, we can work our way back to the front. As you saw, we jumped the cushion there. It was kind of sprinkling and raining off and on throughout that uh, throughout that feature. And um, I think under the one yellow, I don't think I had enough heat in the right rear, and uh, just rolled down in there to turn one and it didn't stick blew right through the cushion and uh we lost a whole bunch of spots there so um we'll start a little bit further back than fifth or sixth that we were running or fourth whatever it was there around the top five so we'll start a little bit further back in the spring but um we got six months to worry about that so uh not really sure of any plans to uh keep you guys uh, updated on at this point we don't really have any major plans um, obviously uh, for those of you that followed along and saw um, Hunter and I are expecting we're adding a uh, little crew member to the family here in January so um, that'll be a cool little adventure that we're gonna add into our life next year and um, yeah so we don't really plan on going going anywhere in terms of classes we'll we'll be here probably in our stock car again and uh, we'll see what the year has for us so um, that's a wrap for us today and a wrap for us on 2023. So, um, appreciate you guys following along with us and your support always, uh, throughout the years, uh, pretty good end to year number four, pretty good year all around. So, um, thank you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and, um, hopefully we'll catch you guys at a racetrack in 2024. See ya. I gotta make sure I mention thank you a ton to the Catellus Racing crew and family. Um, Cody's in the 1K that uh, races with us pretty regularly. 
um, at the Le at Lernerville in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Motor Speedway. And uh, he actually lent us his own gear out of the trailer um, for our heat race so that we could even compete Friday night after our gear broke. And uh, they were over helping the whole time, getting us ready. And uh, they started right in front of us for the heat race. So that was cool of uh, you know one of our close competitors, somebody we race with all the time, and somebody that we were going to directly compete against, uh, compete with us you know it right in that heat race be willing to lend their stuff out so that we could complete our night so um, they really saved the night otherwise we just started dead last in our in our feature so a huge huge thank you to gary and them for uh making sure that you know our we we, we even had a shot uh without them we our weekend would have been a lot a lot different so especially with them being right in front of us in our heat race and then we went out and finished second to them so um huge 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 thank you to them guys um, if you haven't already, um, you can find them on the internet, um, find them on Facebook, find them on YouTube. They have a channel too that they uh, post some of their uh, better videos on. So thank you. Thank you to them guys.